picking up copper. That stuff is pretty heavy too. So today on Project Shop, I'm finally gonna strip this massive SO cable I got. We got 65 pounds, so I'm kind of curious to what the recovery is gonna be. It's the biggest SO cable. There's six wires in here, three little ones, three big ones. Came from a concrete plant where they fill concrete trucks and stuff. Not a, exactly sure what it was running. We did strip some of the other wire by hand, well, the case by hand, mainly because it had concrete on it. We're gonna run this through and then uh, we'll weigh the copper up when we're done and see if it was worth it. Some of this stuff is pretty big, so even though we're gonna get number two copper out of it, I think it's gonna be worth it. Copper's actually coming down right now. It was going up pretty quick and then it dropped down 10 cents pretty quick, so. I'm trying to get rid of all the copper we got here in the shop. So I burned up my camera that I used for the head cam. So I'm gonna put the gantry cam on. We'll run this little bit of spaghetti. In that last video, we cut all that wire short. We didn't need to use the uh, clutch. This is the type of situation where I would use the clutch. Like this bird nested stuff, uh, I'll just grab a piece, cut it, make an end, start sending it and then use this to um, stop it when it starts dragging it up into the machine or it gets like above 10 feet. Steve actually thinks we should cut them shorter than 10 feet. Um, so maybe we'll try that. But eventually we're gonna have uh, an automatic cutter on here. Okay, so this uh, spaghetti wire that's all tangled up is gonna be a good representation of why I actually built this and uh, its function. Okay, let's see what happens. This might be too that's as loose as we can go on them. This might be too loose for this, but we'll see. Copper 
that much. Take them, pull them apart like this. They come right apart. Now we've got two different sizes. So, I really want my vise back, but I'll just set those for now. You ready? You want to put it up? Set these for there. No, we'll do, we'll do it that way. we got to do better than just them clamps. Yeah. Keep the welder. No. <laughs> Don't fall off. Now there is like some rubber yeah, really stuff, easy. whatever that is, all up in there. But these are pretty decent sized chunks. Number two. Insulation that's on this stuff is more of a rubber than um, an actual plastic. And I was really thinking about saving some of this stuff for making some serious jumper cables. But I do have a big spool cable about this stick because if I needed to I could use that. This stuff we're just gonna scrap it.
sweet look at that just picking up copper that stuff is pretty heavy too set up on this next wire it's probably going to have to loosen this up a little bit As you can see, man, this stuff is coming pretty much right off. Sometimes this uh, wire likes to do that, but pretty much coming right off. Most of it, once you get it dialed in, it's just falling. All right, there you have it. Out of that 65 pounds, we only recovered 37 pounds of number two copper. And there was an absolute mess of uh, all this insulation. This was double insulated with some really thick stuff, man. This case is uh, pretty, pretty thick on its own, you know? And even this stuff here is pretty thick. So I'm gonna run this and this copper, and uh, we're about to break down some transformers. We'll run all this down, and we got a little bit of nuggets already broke down. We'll take that to Miami tomorrow, and then uh, we can figure out what our percentage was on the copper to insulation on this big old stuff. Now, this is the first time I've ever had anything that big, and I doubt anytime soon I'll get something that big again, but normally, I don't even strip SO cable, but I'm pretty sure that was probably worth it. Okay, so here's the ticket that SO cable was sold with. The Bear Bright we had, that was from that uh, big spaghetti strip out. 238 pounds, I got 350 a pound. That was $833. 
And then the number two copper, which was the SO cable and some other transformers, we had 228, 325 a pound. Copper's coming down, $741 for a total of $1,574. Now, um, so originally we had 65 pounds of SO cable. Now this is the biggest SO cable I've ever seen. And it turns out kind of like big 500 MCM and big copper, regular copper, it's definitely worth stripping. You'll see here in a second. So it took me 20 minutes. Basically it took me 10 minutes to strip that, to cut it, send it through the machine, separate it, send it back through the machine to three different size wires that were in there. Now I would have paid for that. So number two insulated, I would probably get a dollar a pound for it and then pay 20 cents off of that. So I would have paid $52 for that right there, okay? Now as is, I would have got a dollar a pound for it if I would have just sold it off uh, minus my $52 that I paid for it. I would have made $13 just by not touching it and selling it off. Now we decided to strip it as I do most copper wire over here and recovered 37 pounds of number two copper, which was 56.92% of the uh, 65 pounds. At $3.25, that was $120.25. Not bad for that. Uh, minus the 13, so there was a $107.25 difference between um, just selling it off and what I got from the number two copper. Now, since I paid for that, out of that $120.25, uh, you got a minus the $52 I would have paid for it. So that left us with $68 dollars and 25 cents that i made in 20 minutes you times that by three i was on track to make 204 dollars and 75 cents an hour which isn't bad um and i'll tell you what if i was doing a lot of that i probably could have done all this in 10 minutes you know one if i was just set up to cut it send it uh peel it send it back through and then you know i'm saying pull the copper i had the machine dialed in pretty good to where i was just you know, picking the copper up off the table. So let me know what you guys think. Would you have uh, just sold it off for the $13? Or if you're the source of it, $65. So if you're getting a dollar a pound for it or whatever you're getting, uh, I still would think that it's worth um, stripping that. You're almost gonna double your money by stripping it, you know? So that was some really big stuff. Now I'm curious, I have all this small SO cable. And uh, so, now I know that's gonna be number one copper right there or bright and shiny, um, but I have different sizes. Uh, I saved a couple different pieces here. And then, contrary to what everybody thinks, I actually do save a lot of wire. Um, and I do have some big boy SO cable up there, a couple different sizes. So what I think I'm gonna do is get all the different sizes I have and cut like maybe two feet, you know, or a foot. I think I can get away with cutting a foot. I want to get the percentage of the smaller stuff, you know, cause that big stuff is obviously worth it. I think that's going to be worth it. Some of that big stuff, but is this stuff worth it? You know what I'm saying? What's your recovery going to be on this? And is it going to be even, um, you know what I'm saying? Is it going to be even worth it? trying, trying to strip that, you know, look at that little tiny bits in there. Um, so stay tuned for that video. And I'm trying to clean up uh, the shop a little bit and make some room. Uh, stay tuned for another aluminum wire video. And stay tuned for the state of record video. I got a bunch of stuff I'm gonna be doing here in the next two days. And also, Steve, um, I always sharpen my blades with a file. Steve grabbed a piece of carbide from uh, my lathe and put some really nice edges on there. And then I was thinking, hey, maybe I can just sharpen these blades with this. So I actually went ahead and sharpened a couple of these real quick. And I'll tell you what, feeling it, I didn't sharpen nothing on this side except for this one blade here. Um, man, I think it worked. But what I found is I have to, I can't just kind of freehand it because it kind of made one of these blades like chattery almost. It almost made it like a serrated blade. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but um, I noticed when I put it here and rested it against here, um, it put a edge right on there. So I really need to get on, get the three phase hooked up for the lathe 
and I can um, get these dialed in really nice because this needs to be solid, like when it's on the lathe. You know, if this is solid, like when it's on the lathe, I think I can put the perfect edge on here um, in no time at all. It'll be super quick and easy to put an edge on here rather than buying a $600 pair of uh, blades, you know, and bearings. It comes with the bearings, but um, I have some copper wire over there. Uh, I'm gonna sharpen these up by hand with this and uh, see if it kind of does a little better job. So if you come this far, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, got plenty of videos for you guys coming up. I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard.